So there's always something you forget to detail when you're demonstrating something, right? So I showed you guys the uh, the DMC uh, 100, the Finercy uh, clamp on amp meter, graphing clamp on amp meter before. But there is a feature here I uh, neglected to actually show you. I, I didn't show you it on purpose, not because I didn't know it was there, but I thought it was kind of, I didn't really see much of a point to it, but it is useful in certain instances i guess so i'll briefly show it to you here so you can see the way the graphic is laid out and there's a distinct uh the right let's call it third of the screen is basically blocked off how come well that's actually for for uh, recording data um, and i'll show you how to uh, do that in just a second here so just for demonstration purposes here guy i have a little 1500 watt here that i use in the garage in the winter Take the chill out of the air. Well, <laughs> if you're lucky, it takes the chill out of the air. Um, it's only 1500 watts, but uh, it'll it'll serve as the ideal load here for just demonstration purposes, right? So uh, let me uh, actually uh, just make it clear what mode I'm in here. I'm in the graphing mode. I just turned on the meter, so everything, the min and max is all reset. I'm in amperage. As you can see, I'm just using a extension cord here i wouldn't use this extension cord under normal circumstances guys it's a bit too light for this load to be honest but just for brief demonstration purposes while i'm here watching it is fine i'm too cheap to buy a line splitter obviously you need to split the uh, the neutral and the hot if you're going to get a current reading right otherwise it'll just you're, you're reading a null and you'll get nothing okay so let me just turn on the uh, the heater here but i'll keep you on screen so my heater I'll show you at the back here. Uh, well, you guys know what here looks like, right? There's there's a fan mode, there's a low, a medium, and a high, and it's basically 500, uh, 1,000, 1,500 watts ish, right? So let's just see what that translates to. And uh, this is a 110 AC heat heater, of course, here in uh, North America, guys. Um, so let's just turn it on and see what the uh, what the uh the graphing uh current uh clamp actually seems to thank you right let's just turn on again fan mode only so i'm gonna have to speak over the uh over the fan here obviously now guys it's gonna be a little bit loud but you'll have to tolerate that i'm afraid so pretty Pretty much as you would expect the thing, right? We've got an inverse current, maximum current draw there of uh, 320 uh, milliamp, uh, yeah, milliamps, uh, 0.3 amps, and it keeps that in. Um, so there's the line there now. So that's actually, uh, and the, so that was the max, and the uh, current uh, <laughs> current current flow is actually uh, 230 milliamps, right? So we can actually go to the save button here, hit the save button, and it actually records it here. You dig? So that's just the fan current. Everything's stabilized, and we've got 230 milliamps of uh, AC current flowing there in just the fan mode. Let's go to the 500 watt setting. Again, I'll go behind here, but I'll keep you on the scope because it's a wee bit more pertinent, I think. 500 watts and there's an interesting thing that you'll notice here a little bit of inrush current you can see that the maximum value actually has gone uh, exceeded the, uh, the current value and you can see it's actually trending down so I'm guessing it makes sense that this would be a positive temperature coefficient um, heater which makes sense from a safety standpoint right if this gets excessively hot, guys, the resistance would go up in order to limit the current. That makes good sense, I think. So that graphic there is pretty much expected, I think, right? And you can see as it heats up that the current actually comes down again. The resistance is going up, so the current is coming down. It reached a maximum of just about 7.5 amps there, and the current value of about 5.5 5 amps. So let's record that. So again fan low and again it's pretty much stabilized you can see we have a straight line there guys let's go to the thousand watt setting again you'll see a jump in the current 
you can see the max value that actually attained, the current value trending down. Again, making sense as the temperature, as it heats up, it reaches a stable temperature there that the power that's being applied will actually um, attain as far as the, the heater grid is concerned, the heater matrix is actually concerned in there. The heater coil, I guess you would call it. I think there's a ceramic grid there that the coil actually goes through, but anyway. Yeah, so you can see the, oh, we're getting there. It's just a bit stable. There you go, stable. Uh, about 7.3 7 uh, 7 amps. Don't need to get overly accurate here. I think you get the point. Let's call that 7.3. Again, the flat line, so it's stable. Let's go to 1,000 watt, or uh, 1,500 watts. See the current there? It's on a 15 amp circuit. Now obviously the 15 amp circuit can handle a bit higher than 15 amps for a relatively short period of time. You can see it's actually trending down. So in the 1500 watt setting, it'll just be about 11 and a half amps ish, ish, I guess. Okay, good, close enough. I saved that value as well. Okay. So let me just go to fan mode here for a second, just to cool the, the grid. And we'll get back to looking at this to see what it actually tells us. What would have been nice if you could actually step back in the, in the time base, step back and actually see the graph um, that you had, the histogram basically that this thing actually graphs out, right? It would have been nice to actually see that, but as far as I know, that function is uh, it is non-existent perhaps in a future uh, version in software maybe I don't know, maybe never anyway that's good that do so yeah here's the uh, here's basically the point of the video here guys it is pretty useful actually you know you can see that um these are relevant figures for this particular unit right and if you were checking uh a unit you know, in an industrial capacity on your car, whatever the case may be, it would make good sense if you could see values like this for a low, medium, and a high. That makes perfect sense. It looks like if there is multiple elements in here, that they're all actually functional. The switch is clearly functional in the different modes. The fan drawing a, a minimal current and then stepping up uh, from there. And it does kind of make some sense, right? You know, there's a differential of about what uh let's call that two and a half amps ish well no really there's no really a, a set split there between 500 a thousand and uh, 1500 is there well, that's interesting don't forget it does actually provide you i don't know how many i should have maybe what's the maximum let me just take a few dummy readings here to see how many okay so i think the, the first one's going to go off screen yeah, there you go so one two three four five six seven eight and i'm not sure what the maximum is you just keep overriding what, what's actually on screen and there is facility actually to uh, to download this if you wanted to save it you know but beyond the scope of the video here guys again um you've got uh, the values that we recorded on screen in addition to that we actually have the max value as well so Kind of a bonus and, and the max is obviously a relevant figure that you're probably going to want to know so here's the data plate on the bottom of it guys of course it's a 120 um 110 120 uh 60 hertz uh and it's 1500 watt here as i mentioned no i just made the assumption uh, i shouldn't have said uh 500 um a thousand and uh 1500 watts it was just an assumption that it was uh an even split but it could be anything i don't know it's just three settings a, a low medium and a high so i wasn't going to take a voltage reading as i said i'm lazy but jesus christ i hope i'm not that lazy let me change the lighting a little bit here 
that I can't just, you know, take a line voltage reading. And uh, yeah, so there is a, a dual mode here where you can see the uh, the voltage. Make sure you've got the voltage in uh, AC, obviously. Um, that, that's not the right amperage. Um, that is a DC amperage. Let me go back here. Um, let me get out of this mode. AC amperage. Um, okay. Why is that toggling back to DC? Will it figure it out? Let, let's 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 see. It helps if I have this plugged in now. Huh? Yeah, it did figure it out. I guess perhaps because there was no current, it defaults to the uh, to, uh, AC, but it did figure it out. Okay. Yeah, you can see when there's no current draw, it just because it defaults to the uh, DC, which does kind of make sense. There's no AC present. It's no sensing any AC, so it will automatically select the applicable mode. Although you'd think it would have, uh, since you're measuring AC uh, voltage, you think it would have paired up with the voltage reading anyway Disney Mar that's a that's a finirsi uh, choice I guess they, their engineers know a damn sight more about it than me right a fan so it's the power I'm interested in here just around let's call it 17 watts I'm going to try and make this brief guys you guys have already seen the gist of the uh, the video and what it was all about So that wattage should drop down since we know that the voltage will trend down or sorry the current will trend down when the temperature actually stabilizes a wee bit yeah i know quite 500 watts but close enough for advertising purposes it doesn't really matter does it just a low medium and a high okay the medium which i expected to be about a thousand watts ish transition to kilowatts there for a second guys the units changed there i don't know if you caught that turn this away i'm getting roasted so again pretty stable amperage there now temperature on the core is stabilized to where it's happy and the amperage is kind of stabilized ish yeah, so don't quite a thousand watts. Right. And high. The max, which is uh, on the decal there on the data plate of the heater, says it's 1500 watts. Let's see what it actually is. See if these lying bastards are uh, trying to dupe us. <laughs> That's just a joke. Yeah. Admittedly, a poor one. But, uh, right. Let's see what the heat it actually kicks out in a stable manner is. It looks like it's a bit. 1400 watts 1.4 kilowatts right okay does this hold function actually work in this mode i don't know yeah okay so that should hold okay so i just want a uh, again just in fan mode there to call the matrix for just a moment there guys the, the grid 